efflorescent exorbitance. I know East London's a big place, but E2 is my focal area. I live there, I work there. It's a blossoming, blooming, budding area um, that is full of overindulgence, overdose, over this, over that, you know. That's two words, lots of meaning. My job is primarily as a clothing designer. I run an organisation called Vex Design, which used to be Vex Generation. I do a bit of teaching in uh, East London Uni. And I do research with Design Against Crime, working on policies, ideas, designs to reduce bicycle theft. I mean, I guess it all goes hand in hand. I'm, I'm interested in, in design, I'm interested in security, I'm interested in cycling, I'm interested in creating debate. That's what Vex Generation has been doing for a long time, you know, socially responsive design. I tend to move around on my trusty steed, which is my 1989 Milanetti, a rather fine bicycle. The great thing about bicycles is that you can literally stop, put it on the pavement, take a photograph, stop, put it on the pavement, have a conversation. Doing a bicycle trip from here to, to the West End, you see a different thing, you are a different thing, you're part of a different world. All of your senses have to be, whether it's your eyes, your ears, being fully alert means you see just that bit more. There's a lot of culture around here, you know, it's, it's changed so much over the last 15 years. Um, the culture is everything from street art to, to, to the pubs to um, the fact that it's quite a transient space because it's bang in the middle of the city. So yeah, cultural clash, I guess. East London is the new centre of London, I believe. It must be perceived in a, in a positive way because people from Chelmsford get on the coach and come in. <laughs> it's just one of those developing places, that's, that's part of my quote really, it's about the fact that it's blossoming and budding and it's, and it's changing and it's morphing and what's going to happen next, I don't know, it's wonderful.